Prophets received the word of the Lord and proclaimed the word of the Lord to people. So John the baptizer comes preaching. God preaches, Satan preaches, prophets preach. They proclaim the truth. What you got to see is that prophets preach repentance. Repentance is different than self-help. But a lot of people don't view it like that. People view that repentance is the same thing as self-help. That it's like, do better, stop doing bad, start doing good. That's, and you'll have a better life. Yay! Repentance comes in and says, you're an enemy of God. By your will and by your choice. And you have done nothing but rebelled against him. And you are liable to be judged. And you're hoping in your performance. And the way that you worship idols. And the way that maybe you do good things. And maybe the way that you're really enlightened. And repentance says turn from all of that. From hoping, from trusting in that. To something else. And so prophets preached repentance. Turn from this. To this. So turn from sin to. Who did they preach? Jesus. The prophets of the Old Testament. This is mind blowing to really look through this. They preached repentance of sin to. Trusting in Jesus. Even the guys that preached 700, 500, 1000 years before Jesus came in the flesh. They preached repentance. Repentance is a change of heart. I'm wrong. I've sinned against God. I'm hoping in something that is not satisfying, that will not make me right and acceptable before my creator. And so I need to turn from hoping and trusting and acting in this way. So it leads to your mind and you turn. You change your mind. It's a change of heart that leads to a change of mind that leads to a change of action. Repentance is a heart issue. It's not a, God, I'm really sorry for my sin and I'm never going to do it again. That's not repentance. That's not deep enough. Because all you're getting there is to the surface level. I did this. I need to stop doing this. The truth is, is that repentance has to do with your heart. And you got to get deeper than just the flesh. You got to get deeper into why am I doing this? Why am I so hateful to people? Why can I not stop buying stuff? Why do I keep going back and looking at porn? It's not a, I need to stop doing this and start doing something else. It's like, why am I hoping and trusting in that? And we have to change and turn our heart, and this is a work that only God can do, to hoping and trusting in Jesus for our salvation, for our joy, and He's who we are created for. So repentance, change of heart, that leads to a change of mind, that leads to a different way. So when you believe something differently, you're going to think differently about it. And then if you believe it and think differently, you're going to act differently. It's not merely stop doing this, start doing this. It's deeper. You guys with me? So prophets preached repentance and prophets told the truth, refuted false teachings and exposed idols. If you read through, just go read through Jeremiah and how much he talks about idolatry and idols, and the people of Israel are just hoping in these created things and not in the living God. If you look through the book of Acts, you'll see that the apostles do the same thing. Paul goes into a town, tries to find whichever idol the people worship, exposes that as false, and preaches Jesus to them. Prophets expose idols. This is why John the baptizer says, You brood of vipers! You bunch of snakes! And these are the very religious, very upright, very moral guys that were trusting and hoping in how well they could obey the law. And they said, that's going to justify me. So it was all about what they were doing, not about the grace of God or faith in Jesus. It was about what they were doing. And so that's why John gets real ticked at him and says, you're snakes. And because you think it's all about what you do, of course you look down on everyone else that doesn't uphold the law as well as you do. John's not saying you're doing a bunch of things wrong and you start acting right. He's saying your heart's wrong. You're trusting in something wrong. He, came, he comes preaching repentance to Jesus. 